In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace and peace of God, our Father, who raised Jesus from the dead, be always with you. And with your spirit. On the day of his baptism, Emmanuel was welcomed into the church, given new life in Christ, and clothed with the garment of salvation. Today we greet the body of our brother and surround him with the church's prayer. We commend our brother Manny to the mercy of God and pray that the promise made to him in baptism will be fulfilled. We join in our opening song together, Amazing Grace. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved and strengthened me. I once was lost, but now am found, was blind, but now I see. T'was grace that taught my heart to fear, and grace my fears relieved. How precious did that grace appear the hour I first believed. The Lord has promised good to me. His word my hope secures. He will my shield and portion be as long as life endures. Through many dangers, toils, and snares, I have already come. Tis grace has brought me safe thus far and grace will lead me home. When we've been there 10,000 years, bright shining as the sun, we've no less days to sing God's praise than when we first begun. My brothers and sisters in Christ, welcome to this beautiful church dedicated to our patron, St. Joseph. I also welcome all those who are joining us digitally as we celebrate this Mass for our brother, Manny Coletti. In a very special way, we extend to you, Karen, our deepest prayers and condolences to Brad and to Charlene, to Russ, and all of Manny's family. Our deepest prayers and condolences are with you as we trust in the promise of the Lord's resurrection. And so we begin this funeral mass by bowing our heads and praying that the God of great mercy will grant our brother Manny the gift of eternal life. Let us pray. Almighty God and Father, it is our certain faith that your Son, who died on the cross, was raised from the dead, the first fruits of all who have fallen asleep. Grant that through this mystery, your servant Manny, who has gone to his rest in Christ, may share in the joy of his resurrection. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Let us be seated for the proclamation of God's holy word, and I invite Chris forward for our first reading. A 
A reading from the book of Ecclesiastes. For everything there is a season and a time for every manner under heaven. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck up what is planted. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to throw stones and a time to gather stones together. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to seek and a time to loose. A time to keep and a time to throw away. A time to tear and a time to sow. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time for war and a time for peace. What gain have the workers for their toil? I have seen the business that God has given to everyone to be busy with. He has made everything suitable for its time. Moreover, he has put a sense of past and future into their hands. Yet they cannot find out what God has done from the beginning to the end. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Shepherd me, O God, beyond my wants, beyond my fear, from death into life. Shepherd me, O God, beyond my wants, beyond my fear, from death into life. God is my shepherd, so nothing shall I want. I rest in the meadows of faithfulness and love. I walk by the quiet waters of peace. Shepherd me, O God, beyond my wants, beyond my fears, from death into life. Gently you raise me and heal my weary soul. You lead me by pathways of righteousness and truth. My spirit shall sing the music of your name. Shepherd me, O God, Beyond my wants, beyond my fear, from death into life. Though I shall wander the valley of death, I fear no evil, for you are at my side. Your rod and your staff, my comfort, and my hope. Shepherd me, O God, beyond my wants, beyond my fears, from death into life. You have set me a banquet of love in the face of hatred crowning me with love beyond my power to hold. Shepherd me, O God, beyond my wants, beyond my fears, from death into life. Surely your kindness and mercy follow me. All the days of my life, I will dwell in the house of my God forevermore. Shepherd me, O God, beyond my wants, beyond my fears, from death into life. 
I invite Joe to come forward and lead us in our second reading. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Let love be genuine. Hate what is evil. Hold fast to what is good. Love one another with mutual affection. Outdo one another in showing honor. Do not lag in zeal. Be ardent in spirit. Serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope. Be patient in suffering, persevere in prayer. Contribute to the needs of the saints, extend hospitality to strangers. Bless those who persecute you, bless and do not curse them. Rejoice with those who rejoice, weep with those who weep. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be haughty, but associate with the lowly. Do not claim to be wiser than you are. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us stand for the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. I am the way, the truth, and the life, says the Lord. No one can come to the Father except through me. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God and trust also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and take you to myself, so that where I am, there you may be also. And you know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going, so how can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Let us be seated. Friends, it is good for us to be here in Manny's second home this church dedicated to St. Joseph, in which week after week, he was so proud to worship God in this holy place, where he prayed for you, Karen, and Russ, and Brad, and Charlene, his family and friends, and our community of faith here at St. Joseph. And so it is so beautiful for us now to gather in this same house of God to pray for your dear companion, your uncle, and our brother in Christ, Emmanuel Coletti who, after having been born on February the 7th, 1935, in Vita, the province of Trapani in Italy, this humble disciple of Christ began his journey with Jesus on the day of his baptism, when his parents brought him into the church, clothed him in white, and he was marked in the sign of faith. And how the beautiful Easter candle, which greeted him then, greets his 
bodily remains here is a reminder that he is to walk as a disciple of Jesus Christ, who is the light of the world. We know that throughout Manny's life, as these beautiful readings that Brad and Russ chose for us to reflect upon today, are a reminder of the life that is to come, but also a wake-up call for us in this life, that we are to place our love for God first, for others second, and ourselves third. And as we look at Manny's life, we see that this passionate Italian man lived as a disciple of Christ. He was a disciple of prayer, a man who loved to contribute to the community as a Grimsby volunteer firefighter in this community for over 30 years, as a proud member of the Knights of Columbus in the fourth degree, a man who loved being one of our greeters at the doors of the church every week, welcoming parishioners here to the house of God. But it's also the love he had for you, Karen, for some 50 plus years together. What a beautiful expression of love. He loved being surrounded by his nephews and niece, his family in Toronto, and all his extended family and friends. For we knew this hardworking man who was so proud of his upholstery business and also of Karen's hairstyle business, which were the bookends to the family home, a place that he took great pride in. And so this beautiful gospel reading reminds us that for those who are faithful to God, there's a special place for them in heaven. And so it is our responsibility and our joy now to pray our brother into the eternal paradise first promised to him in baptism some 86 years ago. And so as we reflect upon his passion for us, we can still, if we take a deep smell, we can smell that tomato sauce that only Manny could make. If you were in the inner circle, you got some of those cannolis that only Manny could make. Or perhaps you were even luckier to get some of those famous Coletti cheesecakes, pies, and all the other dinners that he was so happy to provide. For indeed, as a true Italian, when you welcome friends around a table, it's when we encounter love most. We know that he was a proud volunteer at the many turkey roll fundraisers here at St. Joseph and was instrumental in many other charitable organizations that support community ventures, especially with the firefighters that he was so proud to be a part of. We know as a proud Italian, while he was proud of his roots, he absolutely adapted to Canadian culture and called Canada his home and often thanked God for the gift of bringing him here so that his life could continue and grow as he was so blessed to live in this country we all call home. We know that he had a deep connection with those who knew him. Manny was never shy to tell you what he thought, but at the same time, you always knew it came from his heart, and he gave and was always willing to help no matter what. Whether it was lending the family his company van so that they could go camping, whether again it was spending time in the kitchen to cook for all whom he loved so much, a man whose impeccable craftsmanship, when given a task to complete, we knew that Manny was all in, as he always was. We can still taste the pizza at Uncle at Unc's house on the weekends. We can still see his smile and his respectful nature as he would always greet me. Good morning, Father Rico. How are you? I'm fine, Manny. How are you? But I asked how you're doing, and he would want to know. A man who is very genuine, a man who loved Jesus very much. And so, my friends, may the words of Jesus bring you comfort and peace, who greets us with the words, do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God and trust in me. May the faith of Manny inspire all of us to live a more authentic Christian life, that we follow the teachings of Jesus, love of God, love of neighbor, and then love of self, so that we too, when the Lord calls us home, may be greeted in the heavenly kingdom. And so for now, dear Lord, we thank you for the gift of our brother. We thank you for his love, his witness, and especially his faith. And so we pray 
the beautiful and ancient prayer of the Church as we send the soul of our brother to you, O God. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. May Emmanuel rest in peace. Amen. And may his soul and the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Dear Karen and family, trust in the words of Jesus, who says, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. No one can have eternal life except through me. Manny believed in this, and so do we. And so until that day where we will see him again, may the Lord surround you with his peace, our prayers, and our love. My brothers and sisters, let us stand as disciples of Jesus Christ, trusting in the promise of the Lord's resurrection, as we ask God's faithfulness to remain with us as we offer our prayers of petition. Our response will be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for our church and parish family here at St. Joseph, that we may be a community of hope in the promise of the Lord's resurrection, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for Earth's nations and peoples, that God will destroy the hate that divides them and bring them together in justice and peace, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For Manny, who began eternal life in baptism, that refreshment, rest, and peace may be given to him and all whose faith is known to God alone, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Ever remembering with love and affection the life of our departed brother Manny, May he always be in our prayers as we ask God's mercy to forgive his sins, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the family and friends of Manny who mourn his passing, that God may heal their pain and give them strength to continue their own lives' journeys, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all who are ill or near death, that the compassionate Lord may be revealed to them in our prayers and charity, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For a few moments now, we pray in the silence of our hearts. Almighty God, give us the certainty that beyond death there is a life, where things broken are mended and things lost are found, where there is rest for the weary and joy for the sad, and where we will meet Manny and all whom we have loved once more. We ask this in all things through Christ our risen Lord. Amen. Let us be seated for our offertory hymn. We will sing together on eagle's wings. You who dwell in the shelter of the Lord, who abide in his shadow for life, say to the Lord, my refuge, my rock in whom I trust, and he will raise you up on eagle's wings bear you on the breath of dawn, make you to shine like the sun, and hold you in the palm of his hand. The snare of the fowler will never capture you, and famine will bring you no fear. Under his wings your refuge is faithfulness your shield, and he will raise you up on eagle's wings, bear you on the breath of dawn, make you to shine like the sun, and hold you in the palm 
of his hand. You need not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day. Though thousands fall about you, near you it shall not come. And he will raise you up on eagle's wings, bear you on the breath of dawn, make you to shine like the sun and hold you in the palm of his hand. For to his angels he's given a command to guard you in all of your ways. Upon their hands they will bear you up lest you dash your foot against a stone. And he will raise you up on eagle's wings, bear you on the breath of dawn, make you to shine like the sun, and hold you in the palm of his hand and hold you hold you in the palm of his hand Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread which we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mingling of this water and wine, we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine which we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, of my iniquity. Cleanse me of my many sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. 
Amen. As we humbly present to you these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, for the salvation of your servant Manny, we beseech your mercy that he who did not doubt your son to be a loving Savior may find in him a merciful judge who lives and reigns forever and ever. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord, in him the hope of blessed resurrection has dawned, that those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Let us kneel together. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. My Jesus' mercy. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we now celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice, Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her husband, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Anthony of Padua, St. Padre Pio, St. Catherine of Alexandria, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant Francis, our Pope, and Gerard, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, the religious, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of the Coletti family, 
whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. Remember your servant Manny, whom you have called today from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. When from the earth he will raise up in the flesh those who have died and transform our lowly bodies after the pattern of his own glorious body. To our departed brothers and sisters too, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, we remember especially the deceased members of Emmanuel's family. Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, when you will wipe away every tear from our eyes. For seeing you are God as you are, we shall be like you for all the ages, and praise you without end. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 Let us stand together, and at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace in unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. My brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be always with you. Let us offer one another a sign of the Lord's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us, grant us peace. Let us kneel together. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world, free us by this your most holy body and blood from all our sins and from all that is evil. Keep us faithful to your commandments and never let us be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. May the blood of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen.
For those who are joining us at home, who have joined us digitally, who will receive Jesus in a spiritual communion, I invite you to pray. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. And I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Friends here in the church, for those of us who are Catholic, we may receive Jesus on our hands in Holy Communion. For those of us who are not Catholic, you can come forward for a blessing by crossing your arms like so, and I will extend God's blessing upon you. I invite you to join me in singing our communion reflection hymn, You Are Mine. I will come to you in the silence. I will lift you from all your fear. You will hear my voice. I claim you as my choice. Be still and know I am here. I am hope for all who are hopeless. I am eyes for all who long to see. In the shadows of the night, I will be your light. Come and rest in me. 
Do not be afraid, I am with you. I have called you each by name. Come and follow me, I will bring you home. I love you and you are mine. I am strength for all the despairing, healing for the ones who dwell in shame. All the blind will see, the lame will all run free, and all will know my name. Do not be afraid, I am with you. I have called you each by name. Come and follow me, I will bring you home. I love you and you are mine. I am the word that leads all to freedom. I am the peace the world cannot give. I will call your name, embracing all your pain. Stand up now, walk and live. Do not be afraid, I am with you. I have called you each by name. Come and follow me, I will bring you home. I love you and you are mine. I love you and you are mine. Let us pray. Lord God, whose Son left us in the sacrament of his body, food for the journey, mercifully grant that strengthened by it, our brother Manny may come to the eternal table of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Before we go our separate ways, let us take leave of our brother Manny. May our farewell express our affection for him. May it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope, for one day we shall joyfully greet him again, when the love of Jesus Christ, which conquers all things, destroys even death itself. In baptism, Manny shared in the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. May he soon be welcomed into the glory of eternal life. And as a sign of respect for our brother, we let this incense rise to God, who has called him to share in his glory. I know that my Redeemer lives, the one who calls me home. I long to see God face to face, to see with my own eyes. I know that my Redeemer lives, that I shall rise again. I know that my Redeemer lives, that I shall rise again. The last day I shall rise again, shall be remade like God. My home shall be by God's own side, the dying, rising Lord. I know that my Redeemer lives, 
that I shall rise again. I know that my Redeemer lives, that I shall rise again. Before the prayer of commendation, I now invite Chris on behalf of the Knights of Columbus to present Karen with a very special presentation from our parish council. As Pastor Ryan Knight of uh, Council 4917, it is my honor to present a resolution of condolences in memory of our brother Emmanuel Coletti, whereas it has pleased Almighty God is in infinite wisdom to call from our midst our beloved brother who departed this life the ninth day of January 2021, and whereas by his death our council has sustained the loss of an exemplary Catholic gentleman and worthy Knight of Columbus. Therefore, be it resolved that our departed brother be remembered daily in a special mass offered for the repose of the souls of all deceased brother knights at St. Mary's Church, the birthplace of the order in New Haven, Connecticut. Be it further resolved that while we bow to in submission to the will of our Heavenly Father, we mourn the loss of our brother who has been taken from us. And be it further resolved that this testimonial of condolences, duly signed and sealed, be offered to the family of our departed brother knight as an expression of our help, heartfelt sympathy. As well, I have a resolution from the assembly of which Manny was a member. On behalf of the Father John Buse Assembly 3498, fourth degree Knights of Columbus, we desire to offer our sincere and prayerful sympathy on the passing of our devoted brother and member of our assembly, Sir Knight Emmanuel Manny Coletti. Whereas pleased Almighty God in his infinite wisdom to call from our midst our beloved brother, who departed from this life January 9, 2021, and whereas by his death our assembly has sustained the loss of an exemplary Catholic gentleman and worthy Knight of Columbus. Therefore, be it resolved that while we bow in submission to the will of our Heavenly Father, we mourn the loss of our brother who has been taken from us, and be it further resolved that this testimonial condolences be offered to the family of our departed brother, Sir Knight, as an expression of our heartfelt sympathy. We sincerely pray that the immortal soul of our brother, of our beloved and faithful member, were through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. of Karen and all of us gathered here. I'd like to thank all those who've joined us digitally, who joined us in prayer with the beauty of technology. I know you would have wanted to be here, so we thank you for joining us in prayer digitally. Let us pray. Into your hands, Father of mercies, we commend our brother Manny in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Jesus Christ, he will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings which you have bestowed upon him in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn toward us and listen to our prayers. Open wide the gates of paradise to your servant Emmanuel and help those of us who remain to comfort one another with assurances of faith until we all meet in Jesus Christ and are with you and with our brother forever. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Dear friends, may every mark of affection and every gesture of friendship that you give to one another be a sign of God's peace for you. And peace, let us now take our brother to his place of rest. Thanks be to God. 
Please join me in singing our recessional hymn, Song of the Angels. May songs of the angels welcome you and guide you along your way. May the smiles of the martyrs greet your own as darkness turns into day. Every fear will be undone and death will be no more as songs of the angels bring you home before the face of God. From the depths I cry to you, O Lord, hear the sound of my pleading, for my soul longs for you, O Lord like the watchman longs for day. May songs of the angels welcome you and guide you along your way. May the smiles of the martyrs greet your own as darkness turns into day. Every fear will be undone, and death will be no more. As songs of the angels bring you home before the face of God.